What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Corset Cube Draft. <clears throat> Just diamonded with my daddy, and it was dazzling. Oh, man. So, if anyone asks you, have you ever been diamonded with your daddy? Just say yes. Oh, it popped off. We have not opened any power yet in this Corset Cube, and I assume it's in here because it was in Alpha, Beta, and Unlimited. It was in three Corsets. And for those of you who want to be like, well, it wasn't a corset until it was like 2012, corset 2012. No, that's not true because they're seventh edition. So clearly, there's power in here somewhere. Just that just feels a little imbalanced, is all. So I'm under the impression green is really strong because if you get the payoffs and if you actually draw those payoffs, which makes me want to take Land or Elf. Huh. I could also take Shadowborn Demon because he's just a big beater. Sublime Archangel is also pretty cool. Maybe we just vary it up a little bit. Which one of these mythics are we taking? The M13 or the M14? Hmm. It's going to be one of these two. I'm going to take the Shadowborn Demon. I took Nickel Bolts for my first two picks. For both two? That's wild. Hmm. Talent of the tele Telepath. It wasn't great for us the, the few times we drew it yesterday, but it's been great for every one of our opponents who cast it against us. Similarly, over Overwhelming Stampede wasn't great for us yesterday, but was great for all of our opponents who cast it against us. I'm actually thinking of, like, Archaeomancer or Talent. I think these are much stronger than... I don't like Kite Self Rebooter, especially not enough to take it on turn two. Turn two? Pick two. Plus, this lets us stay open for both Nicol Bolas and Sultai. You know what I mean? I'm going to take Talent. I think Talent is stronger. I think it's a stronger card. I like taking Thopter Spy Network this early because I feel like it is a card we can build around now that we know we have it. So let's take that. If either Spouts or Icy comes back, it's pretty good for us. Now nah, I'm just going to take Dragon Skull Summit. That's a Dragon Skull Summit Drowned Catacomb. Guys, I am out of it today. Wow. I need to go take a nap. I hate it, but it's probably City of Brass. Maybe it's Bogart and Hellkite. I'm going to take City of Brass. I hate it, but you guys love it. And that's okay. Perilous Vault. Interesting. Jace's, in Jace's Ingenuity. I do like Gilded Lotus. I just browsed the Corset Cube list and there is in fact no power. No way. Get out of here. There's no way I believe that. That sounds that sounds like some fake news by word. Oh, Chromium. Solid. Solid. Hangerback works with Thopter Spy Network. Confiscate also in here. Jeez. Now we're talking. Remember that time I was like, Confiscate doesn't seem great. I still don't think it's 100%, but... I think it's best use is taking Planeswalkers. Look for yourself, Cabal. You, you understand I'm just being sarcastic, right? You understand I'm just... I'm, I'm not being serious at all, right? Oh, God. I'm gonna take Hanger back. There's people in the YouTube comments who would yell at me if I took a third color here. When Hanger back goes so well with Doctor Spy Network. So... Look for yourself. <laughs> I have no idea why that was so much funnier when you screamed it at me. Uh, I don't hate Brittle. Oh, Terror's just so good. Terror's, it's got to be significantly better than Brittle Effigy. Five mana versus three mana. Yeah, we're going to be terroring. Thank you. Sir Riyash, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. 20 months. Unbelievable. Thank you.
Who do we got here? Cabal with the resub. Why don't you look for yourself, you little dirt burger? Got him. Got him. Dismal Backwater is nice. Look at our look at our fixing so far in this two color deck, man. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I don't know why. Look for yourself. Terra is bad against mono black, though. You know what? You're right. I had a dirt burger. For, how was it? I hope it was delicious. So because of my um my Xfinity. I guess I want to do subscription my Xfinity plan. Ooh, Archaeomancer. We can get Talent back. We can get uh, Terror back. I was actually going to take this guy earlier instead of Thopter Spy. Or, uh, Talent, and now we got it back. That's pretty good. <coughs> I was definitely... Okay, there's definitely... Like I said, there's definitely a reason I, I went into blue-black, and it was hopefully because Bolas might come back. I didn't get a lot of Bolas fix in, uh, in the Vintage Cube because they took Bolas out, so... I'll take Blossoming Sands in case we get a, uh, a Golos. Okay, so because of my Xfinity plan, right, my internet plan, they were like, hey, you, you're eligible for a Flex, a, a, Chrome, a Comcast Flex for free. And I was like, I don't really care about that. It's, no, it's fine. And then they took Parks and Rec off of Netflix. And I know they're going to take The Office off at the end of this year. So they're going to have Office and and I assume The Office and Parks and Rec are going to the proprietary uh, NBC streaming app called Peacock, right? And the fle this Flex box, whatever it is, apparently has, you know, it's it's Peacock. It has Peacock. Oh, God, I was hoping Guardian Hellkite came back. That's great. It has Peacock on it, right? So I was like, hey, let me go look back at this offer and I'll take it. And so they, like, sent me one today. And uh, I'll take Feed Slayer Paladin. This, man, there was no, and this is it. And I was like, oh, look at that. Look at this little guy. This little box. So I'm going to set this up and see what it's all about later. Designed with love in Philadelphia. That's kind of cute. But yeah, I'm pretty sure NBC owns Comcast or vice versa. Like they're, they're connected in such a way. So that... Uh, <clears throat> makes sense that the peacock app would be would be native would be available on the the flex box but also similarly like this seems large really it's about the size of an apple tv like i mean it's the size of my hand like i can palm it like that seems i don't know it seems small to me i was like wow this is really small it's not like because i'm like the last device i got from a cable company was like a cable box and it was huge so my Roku, yes. Well, my Chromecast is much smaller as well. We think Claustrophobia, Memory Lapse. I also like Soren's Vengeance, but I think that's going to come back. I'm just going to take Memory Lapse here. Underground River. Oh my god, how good do we want our fixing? Real good? Star Compass. Actually, I like might like Star Compass better because it goes well with Thopter Spy Network. And it's a ramp spell. <clears throat> but can you palm a basketball? I don't actually know. Okay, what's our combo here? Um, enchantment, 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 enchant nothing. We have nothing to combo with that, unfortunately. Okay, sounds good. I think Frexian Arena might be pretty good here. Oh, what up, Kyers? Eh, I don't think we have a ton of... I think it's Frexian Arena here. Persuasion, also pretty good. I'm going to take the arena. The problem I have is that now you'll have to have commercials again. I, my Hulu plan already has ads. And plus, like, my alternative is there's no real good alternative, right? Like, I, I can't watch The Office on any other streaming service without ads. As far as I can tell. So. Also, this gives me Peacock Premium, it said. So, I'm not sure if it will have ads. I can't, I mean, like, if it's premium, like, the, the point of that would be no ads, right? <clears throat> premium ads. Yeah, say Peacock to access Peacock Premium included with Flex. 
For some reason, I would assume premium does not have ads, but God, Maze Mind Tome? Another banger, but also goes well with Thopter Spine Arc? Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Christopher, what did you say about Phyrexian Arena, you little son of a biscuit? Still has ads? What's the point? <laughs> Get out of here. I mean, I'll just watch ads. I mean, like, dude, I watch an ad every time I watch a YouTube video. Hulu has ads. Like, I'm not... It's fine. It's not the end-all be-all. Do you use YouTube Premium? It's crazy amount of free things they send me. So far, 32-inch TV, Google Home. Now they send me a free Stadia and Chromecast Ultra. Wait, really? <laughs> That's kind of funny. How do we always end up with Time Stop in our deck? Because you always take it. <laughs> I actually kind of like, maybe Dissipate's better. <clears throat> oh, Rune Scar Demon? That seems good. I'm going to take Hellkite out for now. We do need more creatures. We have four. Again, we're playing Shadowborn Demon with with like four creatures. Um, I don't like the, the it's like so the thing with Demon of Catastrophe is I think it's a great card, but the problem is like if we don't have this and an artifact, we're not making one ones, and then we're not having anything to sacrifice. So it's like it's a three card combo basically. Otherwise, Demon is a creature with four creatures in our deck. So it's like all right, well. I either have to have Thopter Spinework and another artifact or one of our other three creatures. And it's like, well, that seems hard. I'm going to take Necromancer over Doomblade. Um, and the reason is that I just need more creatures. Ooh, Claustrophobia and Soren's Vengeance came back. <clears throat> I think we're actually pretty decent on our We have Demon, Essence Scatter, Dissipate, Terror. I kind of just want the Vengeance. I'm just a sucker for Soren's Vengeance, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to take this. I, I I used to love Disciple of Bulls. I think it's a great card. We just don't have many good creatures for it right now. Even sacking Necromancer to draw two gain two is still just fine. <coughs> Ostracize, huh? Sure. None of these cards are super exciting. I'll take Equilibrium in case we find like a sweet combo for it. Oh, what up, Elk Tears and Chorwood at the same time? Oh my god. Things are happening, guys. Oh, Inferno Titan goes well with our Bogard and Hellkite. Charcoal Diamond, also another on-color diamond. Mind Shatter is interesting as well. I think I like Charcoal Diamond because again, it's uh... oh we don't have we don't have Sky Diamond here. We have Star Compass. Fascinating. I'm gonna take Charcoal Diamond. <clears throat> now we need to focus on creatures, I think. Um, but they have to be better than Spell Factor. Spell Factor. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Jesus. I need to stop talking today. Stab Wound's fine. Sacrifice three black creatures. No, we're not doing that. We're just taking Stab Wound. I think Stab Wound's actually significantly better with Soren's Vengeance because you're always... I mean, like, you have a consistent way to tick down. If they have, like, a 4-4... Four, four, oh, Nexus of Fate? I'm always going to take Nexus of Fate. Especially when there's so many mill decks in this format. I also don't mind having a second two-mana ramp card when we have two, three seven drops now. <clears throat> Uh, Teferi's tutelage. Fascinating. Okay, well... Thank you. The funny thing is I keep drafting Shadowborn Demon in hopes that, like, I can, like, draft this, like, black-blue... Maybe it's not black-blue. Maybe it's just the wrong ar archetype. Oh, Skip from Milwaukee. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for the resub. Welcome back, my dude. You you have some. It said uh, you said you've subscribed for four months, so you definitely have before. 
it's just got to be Teferi's tutelage. There's just there's just too much going on here. Where oh, Liliana seems good. Yeah, we'll take Liliana. This guy's really looking sad here. Gilded Lotus also helps with these, but I mean, mostly we're just trying to make sure we have artifacts for Thopter's Spy Network. And Talent goes well with Tutelage. I mean, if we can get a Patient Rebuilding here. <clears throat> wow, Essence Scatter and Remove Soul. We could just deal with all of the... Uh... I only have six creatures, though. I'm kind of just in for Stormwing Entity here. Really, this Lily underperforms for you. Fascinating. It's a December, and you didn't get... I didn't get my... Dude, I haven't got my Ringle for, like, two months. It has been a slow two months, unfortunately. I mean, I have to assume it's holidays and COVID and things like that, so it's not a huge... Huge sadness, but... <clears throat> it's like the first it's only noticeable because it's like the first time in two months where it's like been uh unfulfilled for not the first time in two months the first two months in like a long time rather so i don't know i think you need to do some high stakes stuff on so this thing is i don't want to have to do that consistently right like i don't have to do that i don't want to have to do high stakes stuff every single month just in order to to hit my my goals you know, from people who are already consistently watching or, you know, subscribing or supporting. So it's like... Because it's not sustainable. Like, that's my problem, right? Like, I'm not looking for, like, a quick pyramid scheme. Like, a get-rich-quick scheme, right? Like... <clears throat> Shut up and take my money! I don't... One, don't get evicted by me, mugger buck. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. This pack's pretty rough. Um... Four or more demons. I think I have two demons right now. Ugh. Aether Adept. Okay. That's a that's a that's playable. Ooh, telling time came back. Sure. I'll tell I'll tell some time. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Maybe let's kill off Mike B for a season, then bring him back in a twist. Hmm. Shut up and take my money. Okay. Oh, shoot, Garner. For rent or delicious Torchy's Tacos? Well, you see, if that goes to rent, then I have more money for Torchy's Tacos. So it all works out. I'm really going to have to try Torchy's before I move. Maybe before the year is out. There's a lot of red and white cards in this pack. This is another demon. How many demons can we get? Take a Bloodfell Caves. Sure. Yeah, then Michael B can come back and be like, I come to you at the turning of the tide. There we go. I feel like I was very dark for a second. We've lightened up a little bit. I just had to move my head in a different direction, I guess. Glimpse Shut up and take the my future. Money. Oh, two way. One day of Rentorino or 100 Chicken McNuggets from Mooch. <laughs> my God. Dude, I appreciate you. I hope you two know that. <laughs> that wasn't very good at all. I'm sorry. I apologize. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Kerwit actually, so Kerwit <laughs> sent us a message and he was like, here's all this stuff in my, this all, this is all the shit in my apartment that I don't have any use for. You guys want any of it? <clears throat> and so I, I went through it and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll take the Indiana, he had like the Indiana Jones Blu-ray box set and the Star Wars Blu-ray box set of like episodes one through six. And I was like, yeah, I'll take those because the ones I have are DVD now. And I'm like, yeah, I'd love to upgrade those to Blu-ray. So I did that. And he also sent me, like, the Back to the Future Blu-ray box set, which was a great choice, because I love Back to the Future. And he also sent me the Lord of the Rings Blu-ray box set, and I was like, these are actually very good additions. Very good choices on Kerwitz's part. We need one cut here. Probably Disciple? I don't know, sacking either, I'd have to get, like... It might just be Shadowborn Demon. 
Like, there's the, the odds of us ever having six creatures, but we could sack a Thopter Spy Network token every turn to keep this guy in play. And worst case scenario, it's just a five mana removal spell, so maybe not. You basically have $10 billion of box office, that's true. Wow, the combined amount of money those, those movies collectively have raked in is very staggering. Hmm. <laughs> I also do like telling time. I like that our two drop slot is literally th three uh, reactive spells and three artifacts. The 15 Blu-ray, it's the thick one. It's like real thick. And I was like, is this DVD or Blu-ray? And it said Blu-ray on it. And I was like, oh, wow. This I am going to, I'm going to turn the camera off so you guys can't watch me blow my nose. Freaking weirdos. Shut up and take my money! Elk Tears, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay, I thought I I thought I unpaused it, but I did not, so we need one ostracize in? We're trying to cut cards. We're trying to cut cards. They were a replacement for the DVD versions. Yeah. Kermit liked the Lord of the Rings so much, he's like, I need I need Blu-ray versions of my DVD versions. And then he got the Blu-ray versions, and he's like, I need to quickly give these away. <clears throat> Guys, we're so close to demons. We have three demons in our deck. Our KO answer seems great here. We get Dissipate, uh, Essence Scatter, Memory Lapse, Terror, Talent of the Telepath. We can get Soren's Vengeance back and kill them. Blu-ray is like the foil of DVD. <laughs> it's, it's the premium version. If by quickly, you mean like 10 years. That's exactly what I mean. Exactly. Is Disciple like, what if we just took a sack of Th Th Thopter? Seems fine. Are you going to watch my Norwegian snack eating stream tonight? What time are you doing that, that bad boy? Because I can think of nothing I'd enjoy more. I'll take Disciple out. It's a card I keep waffling on, so it's kind of like just... Feels fitting. 7-7? Seven, seven? Sure. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get her done. 7.30 to 8, huh? Is that 7.30 your time? So 8.39 my time? I got a smashed AF box in the mail today, so it could be bad. <laughs> Have you not opened it yet? You should open it. You should check. Check it out. Check the stats. I'm going to play first. Like it. <sighs> like it. It 
It's a surprise for my friend Koro Kit. Is that her actual name? Come on. Let's go Frexine Arena in the island. How about that? LOL, no. Oh, that's sad. I got real excited. Okay, island is good. <clears throat> I accept. Come on, don't countermine. My spy network. Oh, they're not going to? Oh. Oh, it's all making sense now. You know what? I'm still going to play Thopter Spy Network. It's sad because even if we get rid of it, we never get our Tanger back, Walker back. Wow, what a perfect answer. What a perfect answer for our next turn Thopter Spy Network. Well, I wonder if Talent of the Telepath is just better here. We only get to hit one. I wonder if this would... I mean, obviously it would be better as, as an instant. But, like, I wonder if it's just too good as an instant when you're able to, like, hit counter spells. This doesn't do anything. This could hit something. Let's see what we got here. Unsubstantiate. And Counterspell. But, I'm going to be honest, being able to get rid of these two is fine. I'm just going to bounce this. We don't get our hanger back, walker back, but that's fine. Uh, it's better in our graveyard because we have Liliana in hand. <clears throat> yep. Mucho convinced me to buy a webcam so we can be long distance nerds. So romantic. Okay, well, this is a, this is all very good cards compared to our mediocre cards. I keep trying to make this Doctor Spider work, and it keeps backfiring for some reason. For some reason, he said, completely oblivious to why it might. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like we're just way outclassed here. I thought this deck was fine. But now it feels like we're missing, like, sweepers. Hmm. Yep, that seems very... Wow, that's a lot of power you just put on the board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power in one turn. Fantastic. Yep. Okie dokie. Seems good. You know what card would be nice? Mutilate. Let's bring an ostracize now. That seems fine. I don't think there's a reanimate deck in the cube, as far as I know. The artifact does, deck does feel a little bit like a trap, and the reason being, like, there's no artifacts that are in here, like, specifically for the artifact deck. There's just, like, supplemental cards that are, like, kind of just normal. You know, like, does it make sense? Like, there, there's no cards that you're like, oh, Metalworker or, you know, Blightsteel Colossus or whatever. It's always like, here's a, you know, it's like if the Vintage Cube only had Moxes and Soul Ring. <clears throat> I kind of want to save this for turn three if we hit a land, because then we can ostracize into Stormwing Entity, which seems pretty decent.
Zombify Breath of Life. Well, yeah, but just having those reanimate cards. Like, how many ways are there to put creatures in the graveyard? Like, from your hand or your library? I, I, I don't recall seeing that many. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> well, I guess it is a third mana. Don't know why it comes into play tapped. But, you know, what can you Yep. It's still nothing. That's amazing. Um, let's ostracize. Image. You unsubstantiate a Johnny and Fabled Passage. Sure. <sighs> Let's try to hit some lands. Bottom and top. Field passage gone. Unsubstantiate, sure. Yeah, we're discarding that because we have Talent of the Telepath in hand. And if we discard Nexus of Fate, uh, it's just not going to count for our Spell Mastery here. So. Sure. I'll just take four here. Oh. Well, I meant to block, but I'm just like so tilted in this match that I actually activated first, so. <sighs> Terror. Fashion late to the party. And again, no land. I guess we could Terror the Bird. We could also Terror this guy, attack a Johnny. Yeah, there, I, I agree with that. There's just some cards that suggest archetypes, but there's there's not enough support to, like... Like, Demonic Pact is in here, but there's, like, two ways to put it in your hand. Like, it's Boomerang and, like, one other card, right? And, yeah, I agree with that completely. It's very kind of... It's kind of funny where I'm like, yeah, why do you have all these cards? But, like, they're not really supported. Like, reanimate, like, this... Thopter Foundry deck. Thopter Foundry. Thopter Spy Network deck. Like, Shadowborn Demon. like Or, like, Dar Liliana's Dark Pact or whatever it is. You know? I don't know what it's called. Yep. Sure. I mean, if we can stabilize here at four... Wow. Triplicate spirits.
sure. Yeah, I figured they'd think Spectral was better than their Johnny at that point. Spectral seems... They have eight cards, though. Maybe we just win this match by milling them. If we're able to untap... One, two, three, four, five, six. If we can go land next to Fate, like... Oh, that's interesting, because I'm sacking that guy anyway. Okay. Sure. We really need to land here. Not a land. Okie dokie. So we can go block, block, we take three. Seems good. Yep. One mana shy. And they have no cards in hand. Yeah. Oh look, next card was a land. I have never seen a Dauntless River Marshal or Disperse. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I feel like by making it a core set cube, you're kind of limiting your options, but like I don't know, like is it worth it just to be just to be solely cure core set? I have neither I have also not seen Dark Dollar Oracle or Elvish Piper. That's interesting that you Yeah, that you found like five cards that I have never seen once in my I've never seen that card in my life. Yeah, this seems fine. <clears throat> so now the question is star compass on two or memory lapse on two I guess it depends if we draw drop the Optor Spy Network. I'm just gonna play it anyway. I, I don't think we're gonna face a threat we can't either memory lapse or uh Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, that worked out well. Ooh, now we get to play a charcoal diamond. See, now we have a lot of mana. And very little pressure. Well, that seems good. That seems fine. We're going to get rid of that post-haste. Okay. Oh, he did. I would love to play Arena here, but I'm definitely keeping up Dissipate and Memory Lapse now that we're on turn four. Uh, we can easily play Arena next turn and still keep those up. So I don't care about that guy. Eh, that guy seems a little more obnoxious.
I definitely don't care about 1-1 one, one Crypt Rats here. Danted, you said, I have been watching your videos on YouTube for years. I keep thinking I'm seeing a glitch in the MTG Online system that might be exploitable. It appears that the last five cards you hover over before you hit the submit button or save button are in your opening hand. Is that... There's no way that's accurate, right? There's no way something like that would be... Oh, Jonathan, one of the funny things is also that we did see two lean-in war leaders. I think we almost had two in our deck. We opened one in pack one and in pack three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have three mana left over. We can go find an essence scatter, which is actually probably fine. Oh, I'm definitely testing that theory after this game. I don't know if it's like, if it works in between matches or if it only works before your first round. Three cards. I want to counter this because it does have the potential to get pretty large. It's at least a 3 3 on board. Sure, that's totally fine. And we do get to Rune Scar Demon next turn and find something we like. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rooney Tooney. I kind of like Soren's Vengeance here, to be honest. It's a pretty quick clock. I'm doing it. I'm living that dream. What if we exploit something and the Watsi police put us in the slammer like MC? Did MC's hammer go to the slammer? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's fascinating. Now I wish I had dissipate to stop whatever way they had to. That's fascinating. Can we do everything? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. We can do everything but play Maze Mind Tome. Let's see what we hit here. It's fucking seven lands. No, five, one, two, three, four, five lands and two creatures. Okie dokie. This is where they're like, thanks, nerd. Alright, we have one Maze Mind Tome in hand. I doubt they're going to make us discard because of that. checks out so you don't die oh platinum angel is a fascinating way to not die to pact
right. They are at eight. They have one card in hand. Oh, I like that. I like that. Blue, blue. Let's play Adept. So they have three sources of black, huh? I can't foresee a situation where they actually want to actively activate Crip Rat, so... Why is that? <laughs> I want the Crip Rat. Look, I have no cards in hand. Look, Ma, no cards. Alright. You're drawn. They're at two. Activate Crip Rat twice. You could have bounced your own demon after you attacked and then replayed it. Could you have bounced your own? Probably. I could do whatever I want. I mean, I probably wouldn't have been able to play Maze Mine and Tome and activate it. Right, I think we only have 11 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, we have 13. So this is 7, 10. Yeah, so we couldn't play. We could play this and keep 1 up. Notice, if you will, I have yet to activate City of Brass. We're at 14, they're at 2. Tomorrow, the 248th of March, right? Yeah, no, it's definitely the longest March that we've ever experienced. What's the hold up here? You either live or you die. Go out on your own terms and crypt rat us twice. Okay, that guy again. That old chestnut. Okay, and then they milled themselves. They milled Brontodon, Liliana, and Demonic Embrace. They can't pay it though, because they're only at two. Solid. And we win the game. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know how easy it is going to be to do. Let's let's hover over some cards here and see what see if it does anything. Talent Thopter Drowned, Dismal, Island. I'm trying to like be real careful about it too, to be real deliberate. Charcoal Diamond. Maze Mind Tome. See if any of those things do it. If any of those end up in my hand, I'm gonna be real suspicious. We did like oh shit, I just went over some other things. But I did I did I did go over them before I submitted, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Charcoal Diamond, an island. Hmm. I think I'm still keeping this on the draw. Keep. Did you watch any of the extra cringe Michigan testimonial hearing? No, I don't think so. But honestly, all the all the hearings and stuff have been bl blending together. They all seem like one shit show after another. Unless they're from the actual state designated representatives, in which case those are usually... Um, well composed and logical so 
All right, we just gotta hit a land off the top. It's not hard. It's not a difficult task. Task? Dan, what would be super helpful is if you could send me some video links of things of the of the videos where that happened in. Land. So good. Never felt such a, a feeling. Oh, Mana Gorge or Hydra being in the trash can is Chef's kiss. We do got a Tef's Toots. Nice. Um, let's get Vengeance because we can just get it back with our Kaomancer. Solid gone. If we hit another land, we can actually play Arena and keep up Memory Lapse. And Arena and Tutelage is like... Chef's Kiss. Oh, they're going to Demonic Embrace this dude? I guess we'll take four and then we can... Oh. Oh dear, Reginald. Oh. Fantastico. That is a chompkey, dude. Chompkey. <laughs> That just sounds funny. Oh, all right. Well, we do need a land here for that to be of any value whatsoever. God, what if they have Demonic Embrace for this guy? That's going to be terrifying. That's old Chompkey Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. Alright. Um, I don't think Stab Wounds where we want to be. I kind of just want to Arena here. We're going to take... S We're going to take a lot. But I need the, I need the lands. Plus, I need the, the quicker... Uh, the quicker toots. Quicker toots. See, that's funny. Put him on a ten turn clock. I feel like our clock is still gonna be uh, still gonna be quicker. Yep, yeah, that's what we were afraid of. Okie dokie. Yeah. Hmm. Boy, fingers crossed. They don't have a way to remove our blocker. I guess. Wish I had a spell I could cast here. Oh, I guess we do get to scry. Oh, oh, beautiful. I want both of these. Um, put on top, put on top. Okay. So as long as we, they can't get rid of Stormwing, 
we survive for one whole turn. Easy peasy. That is a demon dino. <laughs> it's an undead zombie demon dinosaur. It's 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 pretty standard around these parts. Oh god. No, it doesn't it's not it's not literally a demon. It doesn't be Oh, it does become a demon. Well, shit. It doesn't matter. They had Ar Arachnus web anyway, which is actual terrible. So Boy, that was... God, Ostracize might just be main deckable for us. I don't think I Gilded Lotus. You suck anyway, Gilded Lotus. I'll keep this. swamps <clears throat> I mean as much as I don't oh yes that was perfect I was like I don't really want to play city here because especially with Phyrexian Arena it's just going to compound the, compound the problem so drawing drawn catacomb was great but also I didn't want to play third swamp because then we can't play like double blue card next turn Registrar on three just straight up. Primordial Hydra is a 1-1. One, one. Huh. Alright. That was actually a great draw. Wow. Oh wow. Night Pack Ambusher. You have Demonic Pact, Web, Liliana's Contract. I want to bottom one and top the other, maybe? No, I don't care about either of them. Like, we have double blue here. So basically, if we prowess this guy once, the Arachnus web does nothing. Seems fine. What up, Luke? <sighs> wow. Oh, so they also played a land we didn't know about. Well, they can just kill our Stormwing, attack us for four, put... Oh, this was Demonic Pact, not Demonic Embrace. Okay. <laughs> we need another card in our graveyard, unfortunately. 
Now I'm tempted to just play Talent because I'm not sure I care about this. Or this. Missed a point of prowess, which is fine because he made the decision in combat, so it's not a huge deal, but I don't think they have actual uh <laughs> I don't think they have actual spells in their deck. I think this is great against the decks that we draft, and terrible against everyone else's deck, which is mono creatures. Yep. That's what we figured they'd do. Okie dokie. They didn't... Did they not play a land? What the fuck? <laughs> That's weird. How do they deal with this? When Platinum Angel is once again in the graveyard? Yeah, it's trample. No, if it has ten counters, it does right. I guess Brontodon, but they really have to draw it. I don't know what the holdup is here. I just want to draw my card. <laughs> yeah. So we take eight from this, huh? What's our alternative? <laughs> Three cards, it's a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> oh man, we had one card last turn, it was a 2-2. Two, two. Why did they not play a land last turn? That's what I don't understand. That's so weird, though. That's really... Like, they're looking at their hand, and they're like, Hey, I got a land. Discard two cards. Actually, oh, it's eight now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's never gonna. It's never gonna matter. <sighs> Terror would be great. Wow. Okay. So they're letting me block, which is fascinating because we're at 11. We know they have these three. Yeah, 100% block. This is one, two, three, four, five. If I can get three more cards in my graveyard somehow, we're in business, guys.
And we live. I don't actually know what to do with this, unfortunately. I don't know if I even want to plus it. I think we're just keeping it at negative three ability here. Because they can only make it for a three three next turn. Maybe a four four, so we can kill it either way. So they draw one, two, three, four cards this turn. They don't have access to Platinum Angel. They could have access to Brontodon. Forest. They discarded Sky Diamond. Okay. Damage, discard, and draw have been chosen. Are they dead? Because this is going to go on the stack no matter what. At the beginning of their upkeep, this goes on the stack. Like, you don't get a priority until that goes on the stack. I've drawn a lot of black sources this game. Let's just get rid of stupid charcoal diamond. I'm also shocked they have not played a land this game. They also don't have double blue for any kind of counter spell action. Yeah, charcoal diamond, shut up. <laughs> you stupid idiot. All right. <laughs> and this is why as much as I love 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 demonic pact, I have not been eager to play it in this cube. You have just experienced why. It's got Gilded Lotus. Their ability said you lose the game. No, it says you lose. I don't think that was weird so much as just that's like that's how demonic pact works you know my dude all right let's see if we have one of the decks that ostracizes good against or one of the decks that tell telepath time of the telepath is good against let's see oh a baron and an ambassador laquatus uh oh equilibrium and evacuation as well good grief Let's get rid of Laquatus. That guy seems like a win con where Baron just bounces a thing and that's totally fine. This is mono blue. That's fine. I 
I think that's really good here. Pretty sure they played that. I think these are the only two cards we know about Evacuation and Baron. Is Baron any permanent? Yeah, a creature, creature Planeswalker. That seems very good. Looks like we're doing very well for ourselves. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. This is actually fine. I mean, it's other, so it's like you can't bounce anything really, right? Yeah, that's totally fine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or evacuation. Oh, oh, that's real good. I'm gonna lapse it. And you're gonna what? Four spike? Wow. That's a thing. Four, five, six, seven. They have two cards, one is Evacuation, so I'm actually just going to get Dissipate. It's pretty good. I guess that's fine. I'm facing a lack of blue mana. I kind of like that. It leaves us with no blue mana whatsoever. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we just really want to hit a blue source, and I think we're we're due for a blue source. Plus, having this on board is just good value. Ha <laughs> ha! We 
mean, they get to search again, but... They're also... We want to push through as much damage as we can because we have Soren's Vengeance in hand. I mean, do they trade with the Thopter or do they just chump here? Oh, see, this is good because now they're at 10. And Soren's Vengeance is just in incredible shape. Also, evacuation costing 5 means that they're dead if they tap out, so... They have to have two lands in order to elixir the same turn. You got it. <laughs> yeah, they're tapped out. They're, they're just dead. <laughs> Soren's Vengeance is going to win us this game. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Pact of negation. Good times. Did we shuffle in a Nexus of Fate yet? Doesn't look like it. Good night, nurse. <laughs> Hit Itsugu's second right, you brah. I think we're actually okay. I understood that reference. <laughs> uh. This seems fine. Again, lots of swamps and a city of brass, but I mean, Frexian Arena is pretty hard to beat, I think. Oh, I got another situation where I don't want to play turn 2 city to guarantee a turn 3 dissipate, but let's not walk into a force spike here. Platinum Angel like oh they do have the force spike. Hilarious. Hilarious. I don't care about either of those. Mu Yanling feels kind of rough. I don't know if I care about any of these things. It's got to have it flying, right? I'll just take Platinum Angel. Whatever. Car's stupid anyway. They did not have a fourth land. A third land. They did not have any land. Island, please. Why do you hate me like this? Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, did they miss another land drop when we get a Phyrexian Arena? Oh, that's wild. Island? Thank you. Or we don't play this, we keep up Dissipate. I think we just keep up Dissipate here. And then we can start playing our four drops. Oh, well, they didn't do anything, so. Oh, thank goodness. Getting real comfortable here. They do have either Adept. I don't want to play Talent because I don't think it's great here. I don't want to play Thopter Spy Network. Because again, not great. I think we just want to play Hangerback for one. Well, next time we're at a point where, like, we don't have to actually tap City of Brass ever again. So, we're going to take two more. And try not to die in ten turns. Ooh, Dismal Backwater. Beautiful. Okay, so we know they have these five and then two other cards that they're just not playing at all. We want to keep up three, but then we also want to we'll just play Charcoal Diamond here. I just don't want to take three here when we have Phyrexian Arena and City of Brass. So now we've gotten rid of Aether and Mizium. Quicksilver Amulet seems absolutely terrible for them. Okay. I mean, I'll take one instead of two and get two one ones out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can go. God, again with the blue mana. They do have four spike mana up here. Oh, we already dissipated, so we don't have to keep dissipate up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We should play something for six, obviously. Our Kaomancer getting back Dissipate seems pretty good. It blocks this guy, and then it also leads us to future... Yeah, that seems good.
Yep, that is fine, as we expected. Yep. Actually, do I care about the compass here? Huh. I just don't want them to have a 4-4, basically. <clears throat> I think I do care about the compass, actually. I want another blue mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. about this we go to six here which means we are very very priced into rune scar demoning and uh, getting Soren's Vengeance or just drawing Soren's Vengeance that is another oh Maze Mind Tome is also very good time well this is their this is their moment it does sound like people got home but no one should be home yet Yeah, I knew they had clones, so I'm like, okay, that's actually fine because it lets us resolve Soren's Vengeance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four. But it doesn't let us play around the force spike that they've had all game. Which is kind of funny. I actually think because of our uh, immense amount of card advantage, I'm going to Maze Mind Tome here. Sure, you got it. I'm gonna bottom that guy. Let's do it again on upkeep. Yeah, okay, I will draw land. Lands are just... Fascinating. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still have one more mana. We can go next to Fate this turn. Wow. 
I feel like they have to block here. You're not blocking? I think that's game. You force spike this? Force spike it, I dare you. This magic moment when Soren's vengeance kills you. And do, 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 do. Oh, now you're gonna block. Okay. I will pay the one. <laughs> Deal. Okay. <laughs> oh, he did it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching Soren's Vengeance Crush. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel, and it's the only way I can ever survive. Uh, really appreciate the support. Don't forget to check out Manitraders.com. They have a great subscription service. You get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. And I'll see you guys next time.